Hi there everybody. I wanted to just make a quick video and share a new little tool that I've started using which I think is really cool. It's called Ad Event. It doesn't cost anything to get going and start up a, a free account on Ad Event. And what Ad Event is, is it allows you to create a link in your email that people can click on and add that event to their calendar. So whether their calendar is the Gmail calendar, the Google calendar, an Outlook calendar, I think it works with Apple calendar, works with a bunch of different calendars, doesn't matter the calendar, this is smart and will add it to the event, um, add the event to the person's calendar and then you don't have to send out any reminders which is really fun there's there's nothing worse than scheduling a meeting a workshop teleseminar whatever and you have it all set to go and people forget to do it forget to attend you've sent an email and oh it's frustrating so this could alleviate that problem so I'm gonna walk you through how to do this so the first thing is you're gonna to have to sign up for an account it doesn't cost anything it takes all of two seconds to sign up for an account and you'll be on the hobby or free which is a limited plan the only limitations basically is that it's limited to one user so easy peasy easy peasy to sign up for an account I'm gonna go ahead and do a new event so let's pretend I am doing a planning meeting uh, for uh, a group of people and I want to do it on Zoom and I want to do it on the first day of summer. So that's my event, a summer planning event. So all I would do is come over to addevents.com and I'm going to I have to be signed in of course and now I'm going to click on new event. It's bringing in um, probably tomorrow automatically so so we'll go ahead and we'll put in our date, our event there we go, Zoom summer planning meeting, and now let's go ahead and choose the date. So let's go with the first day of summer, which would be June the 21st, I believe, and the time, let's make it for 9 a.m. till 10 a.m. All right, and then here, if, we, if it was gonna go over days, we could have a second day, but um, let's see. And then we can even change the time zone. So I'm in the Denver, I mean, you know, I, I'm up in Utah, I'm in Salt Lake, so I'm in the Denver time zone area, but you would change this to whatever your time zone is so that it's going out, you know, what, what you work with. And then it's gonna get added to their calendar uh, based on that time zone and then of course the time zone that the person's actually using. If it was an all-day event, we would check that. If it was an RSVP, we would check that. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a description. Okay, so now I want to actually, um, I, I could just end my note there, but I actually want them to be able to click on the Zoom meeting information. So I'm actually going to go over to Zoom, and here is my summer fast Zoom event. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to, copy this and I'll go ahead and paste that in join URL and then it will be a link that they can go ahead and click on from their calendar so if I want this I'm happy with this click create the event is now created and here is the link so I can just go ahead and copy that link so I'll copy that and now let's go to my email okay so I am going to go ahead and have it go from here. So I'll go ahead and do a new email and then I will go ahead and send this. So I'm going to go ahead and send this to, uh, I'm going to send it to myself. So Jillian and here's the subject, Zoom meeting. And there is our link, okay? So it just says, please join the Launch for Life team for this fun planning session. We will meet, let's put that via Zoom. Please join the Launch for Life team for this fun planning session. We will meet via Zoom. Here's the date, here's the time. To add this event to your calendar, please click the link below. And there's the link. So let's go ahead and send the email. Now we'll go back to my email, there it is. So let's see how this works. So I'm going to open up this email and click the link and a little pop-up box comes up, gives the information and to add it to the calendar, I just go ahead and click 
add to calendar. And then it gives me a list of all the different calendars. I can use an Apple calendar, a Google calendar, an Outlook calendar, um, a Yahoo calendar, so quite a lot of choices. And right now I'm already logged in. It says Google, I'm already logged in. So if I'm going to go ahead and click the Google calendar and it says the event was added to your calendar. Proceed to the event. So let's go have a look and see the event. So there it is. It is right there. So it is on the calendar. Here we see Zoom summer planning meeting at 9 a.m. added to the calendar automatically for us. So I think this is pretty cool. So that's all you need to do to provide a little add event link in your emails and mm -hmm. people can quickly put those, your events on their calendar. So kind of a cool thing. So there you go, and uh, there are upgraded accounts. If you want to kind of go further, you can see that they have different con contracts, but I think we're probably best off just using the free plan, and um, I just think it's a really, really cool program. So there you go, just a fun little marketing tip that I hope you will find useful.